What type of home ownership do you have? Do you own or rent your home? I, I own my home. You own it. Is it a single family detached home? It is. When did you move in? We built the home in 1990. And so moved in in June of 1990. So what brought you to Houston or have you always been in Houston? No, I grew up in Macon and I came to Houston in 1983 uh, uh, to start renting some farmland and started farming. Well, what did you farm? Uh, cotton, peanuts, soybeans, oh. pecans, corn, small grains. And then how many acres were you renting? Uh, I started off renting about 700 acres, uh -huh. and then uh, I grew to about 1,200 acres at, uh -huh. at the, by the time by the late 90s, and, uh -huh. then, uh, uh, and then I got involved in real estate, and so uh, I kind of have two careers now. I'm both, I'm both a real estate broker <laughs> and a farmer, oh. so I still have my farm. Yeah, that's awesome. But, but not, not, I'm not farming near as much now. I'm just farming about 100 acres now. Oh, okay. So, okay. And, and is that still like cotton, like some other things? This year it was all cotton. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And okay. next year we'll probably do peanuts or a combination of cotton and peanuts next year. Okay. So. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You said you came here in 1983? Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So you do a little bit of farming now, but mostly real estate. So do you own the 100 acres that I, you do? I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is. So tell us a little bit about the house you built. What kind of house is it? Uh, it's a two-story house. Uh, it's got six bedrooms. So I had a bunch of kids. I had six kids. Ah. So it has six bedrooms. Uh, it's about 5,000 square feet. Well, that's a lot of house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's like a big old dormitory. It <laughs> yeah, big dormitory. It had a big playroom. And, oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, uh, Two-car garage. Uh, sits in the middle of my farm. Oh. Right smack dab in the middle of my farm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? What else you need? What's your roof? What kind of roof uh, you got? Roof. Mm -hmm. Asphalt shingles. So, do you, does it have any rooftop solar on it? It does not. It does not. I, I would, I so, would love for somebody to come do a, do a scientific experiment out there. <laughs> and so, put some up out there for me. That's Cause right. Because it is really ideal for it. It's, it's <coughs> a lot of sun. I mean, there's... I have... Decorative trees around the house, but they're right. all small, and the roof mm -hmm. is it's a very broad roof area. Right, and we get we get a lot of sun. I always thought it would be mm -hmm. ideal to have some kind of solar panels. So, you've, have you you've just thought about it? Have you looked into it ever? Mm, I, I may have looked at it several years ago, but uh, not since I think they've gotten more economical. You mm -hmm. know, it was, when I looked at, into it, it was so expensive. Right. To look at doing it, but uh, the technology is so much better now. I mm -hmm. think. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so. Do you have whales on your farm to irrigation wise for your cotton? Mm -hmm. How many whales do, do you have? I have irrigation wells. I just have two. Okay. Wells, and mm -hmm. then I have a pond, mm -hmm. and we actually feed the the pond from those wells, and then we irrigate out of the. Is that pond. expensive? Electricity-wise, uh, I guess. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's comparable to mm -hmm. other other ways of doing it. I, right. Um, it seems expensive when I pay that bill. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it any bill though? Uh, right. No. Oh. Yeah, it would be sweet to be getting some credit, you know, mm -hmm. with right. the with the uh, energy company with with Flint. This who right. supplies our energy. Yeah. And if you were doing that with with uh, but but it's all about the initial capital investment, you know, what, mm -hmm. what's what's that going to cost? Right. You know, I, I really have thought about it. I thought it was, would be a wonderful idea. I love writing down uh, 
over to Columbus. 96, yes. Highway 96, yes. Taylor so County. Those, yes, goodness mm-hmm. gracious, and that's something what they're doing. They got a lot mm-hmm. of solar panels out that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what do you think would be the best way for you to get the education on what the cost benefits would be? Uh, I think y'all need to do something out of the extension office. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like you got to do a presentation, huh? That's right. Yeah. That's right. Get some folks in here to sponsor it, you know, who are yeah. in the business and... Mm-hmm. And uh, but then get I'd like to hear some unbiased you know uh, mm-hmm. input about it from from our extension people. I think that would be great. Okay. So what kind of education do you think that you should see out of the, the extension? Well, what you can expect in terms of of uh, the capital expense mm-hmm. that you you know what's going to cost to put in, put them in. What can you expect as far as energy generated? Uh, what percentage of your household energy is, can be generated from that? Um, I understand, you know, well, well, I think I understand. See, this is what it would be good to know. Will the company, will Flint or Middle Georgia EMC, with the EMCs or Georgia Power, are they required to buy what, what you produce? You know, if you have an overage, Mm-hmm. Or can they? Will that go as a credit against some type your, of compensation? Yeah, yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, you know, I think I think there's the potential for there to be right. produced more than you actually need, mm-hmm. and so I'd, I'd like to know the details about that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the details of they've got, you know, just all the new technology that they've got of being able to store. Mm-hmm. Um, the the energy I think you got these batteries you know that and there's new technology as far as all those mm-hmm. I'd like to know about that okay so and I've done some you know looking on the internet and, mm-hmm. and uh, there's some pretty interesting YouTube articles about different kinds of ways that you set up your electrical system you know mm-hmm. to to do that but but it would it'd be great to have that. That kind of that kind of uh, program offered mm-hmm. right. in the extension office. Oh, okay, that needs to come. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> Georgia or no U.S. Where's our map at? Mm-hmm. Up there. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a pen right there, and okay. out of the U.S., where do you think more rooftop solar kind of exists across the country? So, kind of color, mark, draw, however you want to identify um, it. Where do the I country. think the most Solar mm-hmm. rooftops, oh, okay, I would say probably here, <laughs> here. Okay, you want me to, okay. Oh, yeah. no, mm-hmm. it's your best guess, but mm-hmm. if you can't. Oh, am I, am I sp- supposed to just pick one? No, okay. it is as many as you think, mm-hmm. whatever you think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say Texas, too. If it rains too much in Oregon and Washington, I think, but... Uh, but they they're certainly into green stuff up out there mm-hmm. probably more than we are. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's mostly what you think. Okay. So, why would you think the Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada, California areas would have it more than your Georgia? Because somewhere? of the the hours of sunlight that they would have in a typical day. Uh, they, they would. I would think they'd have more. They're going to have less cloudy days mm-hmm. than than we are. <clears throat> you know, in the southeast. I well, know we get plenty. Of, we get plenty of sun, yeah. sunlight though too. But yeah. But those probably have a higher percentage. I mean, they're just drier climates. Mm-hmm. What about the people out there? Do you think that has any effect? Um. Yeah, and that's why I kind of. As well, made the comment about the the West Coast. There, mm-hmm. you know, they're they're a lot more uh, tend to be a lot more environmentally aware than uh, probably the rest of the country. I would say. Although I hope all of us are environmentally aware. <laughs> you know, this is an amazing world we live in. Right. It is pretty unique as far as we know in the universe. Yeah. And we better take care of it. Right. You know, right. So, 
and the sun. Goodness gracious, what a what a big old ball of energy that thing is. All right. And uh, we ought to be using our smarts to figure out how to how to harness that better. Mm-hmm. So. That's right. So, what about in the state of Georgia? Where do you think there would be more solar usage in the state of Georgia? Mm, okay. Well, I'm going to put Taylor County. Yep. <laughs> I think this is Taylor County right there. <laughs> is that it? Somewhere, uh, somewhere right there. Uh-huh. Right there. <laughs> um, no, that's Peach. That's Houston Peach. Isn't that Crawford? That's Crawford. Yeah. That's Macon. Uh-huh. Yes, that's Taylor. So that got to yeah. be, yeah, one yeah. of them two. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere in there. Um, you know, in terms of numbers of people, obviously you got this whole Atlanta area, mm-hmm. you know, that's, um, but I don't know that you, um, well, I mean, be proper, there's, that's probably where your majority of people doing it is in, in Atlanta. Why do you think that? Uh, just because you've got more people, <coughs> more rooftops there. And uh, and I and I don't I don't mean to say that the rest of us in Georgia are not environmentally mm-hmm. sensitive, but you know, but typically you you're gonna have your your Athens, your Atlanta area, mm-hmm. you know, maybe Savannah area more more uh, aware mm-hmm. of, of that and proactive mm-hmm. um, you know the weather the weather climate is probably better south outside of Atlanta mm-hmm. you know south and, and southeast but as far as the numbers of, of people you're going to have more in Atlanta and right. that sort of thing What's the right answer? It's none. It's not none? really. No, I'm, I'm it's curious just your they, opinion. They, was it's they, just, no, that's part of what this research is doing, to, is it's trying to find out what the common census is of what information people need on education and what kind of um, awareness people actually even have mm-hmm. of it. That's what a lot of the big purpose is. I had a question that came to mind. I don't remember what it was, though. Do you think that jobs have anything to do with the areas that you picked? Uh, yeah, and more income. Compared high, to, because I mean, compared to your southern mm-hmm. areas of Georgia. Mm-hmm. You're going to have higher, higher incomes for a broader number of people, mm-hmm. certainly in, in uh, the more metropolitan areas. Do you think there's more accessibility in any of that stuff to solar mm. than there is in your southern part? Um, you know, I think with with the internet and Amazon and all that, <laughs> I mean, anybody that you can be down shopping in, with your phone, you can be down in in Haneyville, mm-hmm. you know, and and order anything that anybody else can in Atlanta. So, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I don't know the. Now, the accessibility of people who can install it may be definitely more uh, available in your more metropolitan areas. So, do you know any friends that have solar? Mm. In Georgia or even elsewhere? I don't know that I do. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I do. Well, do you have anything else you'd like to add? Um, only let's come do an experiment at my, my house. <laughs> we'll leave that up to Jacqueline. A, a university college experiment. Yeah. yeah. Come come out. I have a great place to do it. <laughs> great place to do it. We'll, we'll let them know. And we'll have a good party afterwards. At, 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 we'll at let them know. Big old empty right. house. Yeah.